Well, it takes a lot of training to prepare for a marathon. I know this because I tried once and I couldn't make it. Uh, it's tough. I got to 10 miles and I had 13 more to go and I was like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hank Cabanero shows us that one Austin mother-daughter team was getting ready to run for the New York Marathon this weekend and it was a little more complicated for them. Yeah, so these are our clothes. Which, There's a lot uh, to remember when like packing up for a marathon. So our clothing is kind of specifically picked. And for Zoe so Cook. Because it's New York, I'll wear sleeves that I can take off. I think the last three months of training has been in the Texas heat. And her mom, so, Tina, uh, there's yeah. the normal things. Um, things like my shoes, without those, completely lost on the day. But then there's the other things they need. The little devices that I attach onto myself. Um, lots of glucose, so these are transcend glucoses, which are pure glucose, so they're designed to just bring your sugar up and get it up fast. Uh, we both wear Dexcom, which is a continuous glucose monitor, and we both wear insulin pumps. Because both um, Zoe and, and Tina are type 1 diabetics, which makes running a marathon, the biggest marathon in the world, a little more tough. Exercising makes you just run low all the time. You're just burning up all your sugar storages. I would say it adds a complication, but with the technology today, I think any type one shouldn't be frightened of doing something like this. Even just training for a marathon, um, even tr getting up to go for a run, it takes four hours to prepare. <laughs> Um, so, you know, we kind of have to get up super early, make sure we're even ready to start running. So while they finish getting their bags packed, doing this together is what makes it special. It's been a really cool opportunity for us to just do this grand thing together and, you know, really have a lifelong memory. Hank Kevin Arrow. Type 1 doesn't stop you from doing what you want to do. KVU News. It's got to be a great bonding experience between the two of them as yeah, well. Good for them. Here's how bad I was at running a marathon. <laughs> Earlier when I said I made it to 10 and still had 13 more to go, that's only 23 miles. The marathon <laughs> is 26.2 miles, I believe. So it wasn't meant to be for me, but you can still try. Them. No, no, I'm too old for that.